seven cosmoses taken together in their relation to one another uh, alone that represent a complete picture of the universe. Seven cosmoses taken together in their relation to one another alone represent a complete picture of the universe. The shift says here something about the Kabbalah. The teaching of the two cosmoses, macrocosm, microcosm, large world, small world, large cosmos, small cosmos, universe as a large cosmos, man as a small cosmos. The teaching of the two cosmoses is known from the Kabbalah and other more ancient systems. But this teaching, and he is speaking of the Kabbalah, is incomplete, incomplete. The Kabbalah is incomplete, and nothing can be derived from it. Uh, nothing can be built on it. And Gurdjieff says here, nothing can be derived from it because this teaching of the Kabbalah is merely a, a fragment split off from another much fuller ancient esoteric teaching about cosmoses or worlds included one within another and created in the image and the likeness of the greatest of them, including in itself all the others. As above, so below is an expression which refers to the cosmos. As above, so below. As above, so below. As above, so below. As above, so below. Uh, yeah, but it's essential to know that the full teaching on cosmosis uh, speaks not of two, but of, of seven, of seven cosmoses included one within another. Seven cosmoses taken together in their relation to one another alone represent a complete picture of the universe. The Kabbalah does not. And now, the idea of all of this, um, seen it in this way as seven, seven cosmoses taken together in their relation to one another, alone which represent a complete picture of the universe is, is in connection with the idea here. Uh, work on oneself. To, to, uh, the idea of the possibility of broadening of consciousness. There's a reason for this. Seen it as a complete system in, in terms of seven cosmos. It's not, not teaching of two cosmoses, cosmoses as is known from the Kabbalah. Kabbalah, which is an incomplete, incomplete teaching. Now we are speaking of seven, in terms of com a complete teaching, the idea of seven, seven cosmoses. And the idea, the idea behind this uh, is that of, of, of broadening of consciousness. And for us, for us who work on ourselves to increase our capacities for knowledge, great knowledge, being knowledge, and which stands in direct relation to the teaching on cosmos. In his ordinary uh, state, uh, man is conscious of himself in one cosmos. And uh, all the other cosmoses, uh, man in his or ordinary level of thinking, looks looks at from the point of view of his one cosmos, 
broadening of consciousness and the intensifying of his psychic functions uh, lead him to the sphere of activity and life of two other cosmoses simultaneously. The one above and the one below. That is, one larger and one smaller. The broadening of consciousness um, does not proceed in one direction only. That is, in the direction of the higher. In, in going above at the same time, it goes below. The way up is at the same time the way down. And, and it means that uh, in reality a man begins to feel life, the, li a life of, the life of the planets or his consciousness that uh, passes to the level of the planetary world the level, level of the planets. He begins at the same time to feel the life of atoms. His consciousness passes through the level of atoms. And so in this way, the broadening of consciousness proceeds simultaneously in two directions. Towards the greater and towards the lesser. So from, the, from this point of view, it's the idea of seven, seeing the universe and, and as, a, as a complete system of steady and turn uh, as a full teaching, uh, as seven cosmoses, uh, one included within another. The idea uh, behind that is obviously connected with, with work on broadening of consciousness, which cannot be done in terms of Kabbalah, Kabbalah as a teaching based on, on two cosmoses. So what does that tell you about what people uh, are doing with the Kabbalah? If it's not the self-change, increase of consciousness, well, what else are people using the Kabbalah? What is that? What is that? Yeah, willful, willful. Worldly, therefore. It's a mystical system. It's a mystical system for what? Yes, very good question. Very good question indeed. <laughs> 